Well, in 2001, uh, the world, our telecom world at least, uh, uh, had a major accident. Actually, it started in 2000, but uh, it took some time until it really got to us. Uh, we are a lagging uh, company in terms of uh, crisis. Uh, but it got to us. And in the early 2002, we found ourselves with uh, two new assets, uh, both Clarify and ITDS. Uh, great momentum in the market, but the market was disappearing. Uh, the capex, the amount of money that the telephone companies would spend on IT and on other systems uh, were cut by half, uh, literally cut by half within one year. And we had to cope with a new environment of uh, um, dealing with uh, shrinkage of the company. And that was exactly the time also that uh, we changed uh, generations. Uh, Avri and Ma uh, Mario left, and uh, Dov and myself came uh, into the number one uh, position, uh, respectively. And in 2002 and 2003, we had to come up with a new strategy for the company for the year to come. We had to go through reduction of uh, uh, manpower, which was a very painful uh, process for us. Uh, not only the people that left, but also the people that stayed. Uh, but we uh, prevailed. We actually used this uh, crisis to build uh, new and improved uh, companies, to add new components of software and services to the company. And in a way, we created uh, what uh, throughout the years between 2003 and 2005, and 2008, excuse me, 2003 to 2008, uh, was this strategy of the company, uh, we called it the Cube. The idea was uh, how to take a company that was primarily a billing uh, wireless uh, in North America and Europe company and how to grow it on uh, the three dimensions. Uh, the product dimensions, in other words, adding more and more applications. So we added the CRM, then we added the OSS and the ordering and the mediation all the way to self-service and so on and so forth. The other axis was actually how to grow our services from only customization and services that are very close to our application, all the way to managed services, consulting later on, and uh, other SI services, generic SI services like testing and PMO. Uh, and the third axis was actually the line of businesses. We came from wireline and wireless, and we went into ISPs, into internet providers, into cable and satellite providers, uh, into multi, uh, multi, uh, triple play and quadruple play uh, in retrospect. And on those days, we expanded the company in the three dimensions simultaneously. I would say also that uh, between 2000 and uh, maybe four, 2008, uh, through the acquisitions, uh, the, company, the company really became truly global. We had a lot of executives from other countries, from other places. Uh, it was a gradual, obviously, uh, process. Uh, the company became more and more global. But I think that probably 2003, 2004 were, were, was the year that we really became truly global uh, company. And right after that, we also start creating uh, what I would call in retrospect the, the factories. We would create a factory for uh, R&D, what is known, uh, now known as the PBG, the product group. We created their factory for delivery. We uh, gathered all the delivery capabilities of the company and put it in one centralized uh, factory, if you will, uh, highly professional delivery organization, uh, creating MDOCS delivery or MDOCS global services, in other uh, words. And in a way, we also created the, the customer facing factory, which is the CBs and the divisions. Uh, obviously, everything that I'm describing in a district, a district way, uh, it's a process, it's a continuum. But I, I would say during these, those years, uh, making the company operational, uh, industrializing the company uh, was very much uh, the, the task of the day.